Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The more the merrier has always been the expression, but never before has it come good as this for all and gas forum than now. Russia has joined the increasing list of partnerships across the sector, specifically in the upstream gas and power sectors. It's got details on consolidation of gains and enduring impact on the oil and gas value chain, for instance. Another good news, the money has been found, not that it was lost. And what money are we talking about? It's got to do with the AKK project. Wait for the details. Plus, from the OPEC window on the global markets is the news that the 2.1 million barrels per day will deliver market stability. Honorable Minister of State Petroleum is talking about a new industry menu waiting to be served. And the industry players are already at the table. That's a man who knows his onions and what he's talking about. Stories are only what we know to serve on oil and gas forum for example it's fiesta again and the charging of our mental and physical batteries that's talking about the nnpc workforce the big window is year on year and round the clock fitness that's the journey let's now take the trip i'm akin agbujili this is oil and gas forum Uh, we see the NMPC as one of the global leaders in terms of publication of accounts and data. And we look to a champion like NMPC to show what others might also do and to follow elsewhere. My brother, my sister, make we join the hand To stop up by pull and vandalization We know the Allah government to build the road Hospital, provide light, build the school And make Nigeria be like big country Make we do fighting by pull and vandalization Make our country come better for we and we children Come here and you go stop this wahala Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah Make our country come better this message now from Public Affairs Division of NNPC. The federal government has expressed its readiness to work closely with the National Assembly, international oil companies, and all other relevant stakeholders to pass the petroleum legislation before the first anniversary of the current administration. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipre Silva, made this known during a World Press Conference in Abuja. He said the passage of the petroleum legislation has become very imperative to enable the nation's oil and gas industry attract investors into the country. We want to progress the consideration and passage of the overall petroleum legislation. The team working on the PIB is at the final stage of the harmonization of all the existing versions from 2000 to date. He stated that as of today, the country produces 1,774,000,000 barrels per day crude oil in accordance and compliance to OPEC quota explaining that a lot of strategies had been put in place to move the petroleum sector to the next level. To improve and develop the petroleum industry. Take it from where we, we have it now to the next level. Chief Silva lauded the current management of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, for the introduction of transparency accountability and performance excellence tape, adding that the tape and other federal government initiatives have improved the nation's transparency indices before the global community. Various transformation processes have already begun and are ongoing in NMPC, growing from business unit focus areas to transparency, accountability and performance excellence. Meanwhile, the ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, UAE to Nigeria, His Excellency Dr. Fahad al tafak has described as agile the leadership of Nigeria's President Mohamed Buhari and applauded the competence shown by the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timi Pre Silva, and the Group Managing Director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, 
Malamili Kiari. This was stated as the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Silva, received Dr. Altafak in Abuja, Nigeria. The UAE ambassador assured of his country's commitment to investing in Nigeria's petroleum sector while pledging to facilitate high-level bilateral opportunities that will deepen the cooperation between both nations. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation has honored teams that assisted in the resolution of issues on the Escrabo's Gas to Liquid project. The event which occurred in Abuja was filled with an outpouring of deep appreciation to the various groups that achieved their feat. It was an evening of stock taking in the nation's oil and gas sector with the sole agenda to harness gas hitherto flared for economic development of the country. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Prey Silva, has this to say about the new era of gas in Nigeria. The train 7 FID was taken. And this year we're looking to a lot of activity. We are looking at taking FID on a lot of other projects, including Bonga Southwest, work on AKK, which is also a gas-based project, will commence. Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Malameli Kari, said the resolution of the Escravo's gas to liquid dispute was a welcome development. By putting this behind us has opened new opportunities to expand the plant so that the plant can make more diesel. And also it has created an opportunity where between us and our partners we can see this plant going into condensate refining. Senate Committee Chairman Upstream Senator Basi Akman who participated actively towards getting the issues around the project resolved, has this to say. Also thank the Group Managing Director of NNPC for his uh, consistency. I call him the game changer. I believe that you will pass as the most impactful GMD in the NNPC's history. Other members of staff of the NNPC who played different roles in the resolution of the disputes were also honored at the event that attracted a lot of prominent industry players. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has said that sovereign guarantee and 85% funding portfolio have been secured to progress the Ajakuta Kaduna Kano Pipeline project, popularly dubbed AKK project. Group Managing Director of the Nigeria's State Oil Corporation, Mala Mele Kiari, made this disclosure at the sidelines of the just-concluded Atlantic Council's Energy Forum in Abu Dhabi. We are done with AKK uh, in terms of financing and getting forward. As a matter of fact, uh, we're moving to site in February, and uh, latest by March. And that means that we will we'll physically start constructing the pipeline. It means that we have secured the financing, uh, both in terms of our equity contribution and the, and the, the clear indication that uh, we'll have 85% financing from the Chinese. So that is sorted out. The NNPC GMD speaks on efforts by the current administration to attract funding for some of the ongoing infrastructure projects in Nigeria. The last two, three months, there are a number of interventions by our president and leaders of business in our country, and that has brought back uh, on the table a number of partners, including the Saudi Aramco, the Saudi Sovereign Investment Fund, ADNOC, and so many of them. Kerry stated that as of December 2019, Nigeria had complied completely with the organization of the petroleum exporting countries output cards. Our promise was that by the end of December we'll be compliant in the cuts that we promised and we have done that. The Russian Federation has expressed its readiness to partner with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC in the development of Nigeria's upstream gas and power sectors. This was made known by the Russian Federation Ambassador to Nigeria, Alexei Shebashin, during a working visit to the Group Managing Director of the NNPC, Meli Kiari. Shebashin, who stated that the visit was to consolidate on the gains made from the Russia-Africa Summit held in Sochi last year, added that the Russian Embassy in Nigeria was keen on enhancing and developing the bilateral cooperation between the two countries across the oil and gas value chain. On the enhancement and development of our cooperation in the energy field, we discussed our cooperation in oil sector, in gas sector. 
Responding, the GMD thanked the ambassador for the visit, even as he assured him of NNPC's commitment to partner with the Russian embassy in Nigeria to ensure that the two countries benefit from the bilateral cooperation reached in Sochi, Russia. The Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation NNPC Pension Fund Limited has declared a 15.03% increase in income for 2018, which stood at 123.556 billion naira as against 115.522 billion naira in 2017 financial year due to prompt response to market dictates, change in investment strategy, high yield on treasury bills and diversification of funds. Group Managing Director of NNPC and Chairman of the Fund, Mala Milikyari, made this disclosure during the 7th Annual General Meeting AGM of the company at the NNPC Towers in Abuja. Mala Milikyari stated that the contributions for 2018 amounted to 38.947 billion naira, which is 12.03% higher than 34.765 billion naira recorded in 2017. Since I appreciate the board management staff for their hard work and enthusiasm towards the realization of the overall organizational objectives, I am confident that we shall jointly ensure all our achievements are sustained and, and promoted to even higher levels. Malam Kari noted that the company's performance during the year was steady despite the economy's moderate growth in the year under review, adding that the performance attested to the company's commitment to ensure best practice through effective and efficient service delivery. There will be continued focus on investment of defensive assets in line with PMCOM's objective for security of the assets as we strive for growth and asset portfolio increase. We shall continue to work within the confines of the law and regulations guiding investment and patient assets to explore and tap areas which can help grow the portfolio. On his part, the managing director of the company, Mr. Baba Miringa Isa, said the 7th AGM was in line with the PENCOMS Act, stressing that the company's bottom line was positive. We are on course, governance structure is right, and uh, we are on a path of sustainability. I have that confidence that yes, we are on the right track and then of course we are doing good. The organization of the petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, has said the decision it took on the 5th and 6th December 2019, which took effect from 1st January 2020, would stabilize the global crude oil market. Secretary General of OPEC, Dr. Mohamed Barkindo, made this disclosure in an interview in Saudi Arabia. Dr. Barkindo stated that the production cuts of 1.7 million barrels per day, in addition to the extra cuts of 400,000 barrels per day, by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia would keep the market in check. We remain confident that the full and timely implementation of the additional 500,000 barrels a day uh, bring in the total adjustment uh, to 1.7 million barrels a day, uh, including also the voluntary uh, overconformity of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia of another 400,000 barrels a day, bring in the sum total to 2.1 million barrels a day will uh, keep the market in check and maintain stability through the first and the second quarter of 2020. The OPEC Secretary General noted that the full and timely intervention of OPEC member countries and OPEC Plus would continue to ensure that the declaration of cooperation is adhered to for the common good of the global economy. The NNPC Properties Limited, the real estate management company of NNPC, has recorded a huge milestone in its efforts to recover the corporation's landed property across the nation. This was announced recently by the National Oil Company Estate Management Company, saying 92 hectares of NNPC Lekki land along Chevron Drive worth 60 billion naira has been recovered. The outfit also stated that it saved about 1 billion naira for the corporation in the process of acquiring an operational complex for NAPIMS in Abuja. This was disclosed by the NNPC Chief Operating Officer COO Ventures, Ms. Laurentia Ndupu, represented by the group General Manager, Renewable Energy Division, 
Mr. Tunde Bakari, at the flag off of a marketing and sales sensitization campaign which held at the N NPC Towers, Abuja. This is the mindset, passion, and dogged determination that propel the recovery of 92 hectare parcel of land on Chevron Drive Lake, Lagos after 18 years of being in limbo, now slated for development as Lekki Marina Estate. In his presentation, the acting managing director NNPC Properties Limited, engineer David Adeyaye, stated that the company Honduras Watch was determined to deliver quality and affordable houses with the best value for this staff. In NNPC Properties Limited, we provide palliative for Nigerians, especially stakeholders in the oil and gas industry. The management of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has charged members of its workforce across all its business units and divisions to maintain optimal levels of mental and physical aptitude by engaging in sporting engagements to guarantee higher levels of productivity. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the 12th NNPC Sports Fiesta in Lagos, Group General Manager, Group Human Resources Division of the Corporation, Mrs. Ladi Po Oyeyemi, said sport had become a veritable vehicle for ensuring year-on-year -year and round-the-clock fitness of staff members. Mrs. Oyeyemi, who was represented at the event by Mr. Abdul Aminu Zaria, Manager, Employee Relations, charged competitors from the various NNPC formations to strive for excellence at the Fiesta, which serves as trials for NNPC's contingent to the forthcoming Nigeria Oil and Gas Industry Games. We are here to entertain and make the company proud. While doing that, we are very careful in trying to maintain our health and safety. In his remarks, Mr. Musa Lawal, the Group General Manager, National Petroleum Investment Management Services, NAPIMS, NNPC's Corporate Service Unit, who also doubles as Chairman of the 2020 NNPC Sports Fiesta, emphasized the imperative of using sports as a vehicle in achieving the much-needed work-life balance for the NNPC workforce. NNPC commits to promoting a healthy workforce and ensures that staff are given the opportunities to regularly exercise in sports clubs. Hello and welcome to the feedback segment of the program. I am Julia Alta. January of 2020 marks the beginning of the leap year and a beginning of another decade. To set the agenda for the business leaders in NNPC, we will be sampling the views of Nigerians on their expectations from the state oil giant NNPC that is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring energy efficiency and security for Nigeria. I can't remember the last time we have first scarcity during its reign. It has done perfectly well. And we believe that the current system in the NNPC should join this man to push this nation forward. This year, you can see that we didn't have any protest about the fuel I can do. So twenty twenty we are believing that as they've continued like this, in which we are not hearing shout from the masses and all, they should continue with the old price and all. If refineries can work, it will bring down the cost of uh, pump price of well. It will create more jobs locally. I come from a village very close to Shobode in Osho State. They are a filling station that is selling 142 naira per litre. And when I gauge something, it's accurate. You know, and that's the kind of thing we want. I'm talking about kerosene. And this is what... An ordinary Nigerian use. That is what they use in the villages. So an NPC should please make that available. There are quite a number of areas that they have discovered petroleum. They have to diversify. Diversification is key. Using locally uh, refined petroleum products. That will also add to our value. And also put Nigeria in the proper place as giant of Africa. There have not been maybe some months where there is shortage of fuel. They've really been trying. Now I'll, I'll, I'll just want them to keep it up and let this 2020 be much more better. This 2020, I expect the NNPC to look at into um, 
the plight of the people or the complaint of the people, the fire price to drop. What I want them to do, just to make the story short, to bring down the price of the fire to 85 naira. What I want NAPC to do, just to improve on that kerosene, they should help masses. 2020 is here, it's rolling, and the NNPC is prepared like other years to improve on its processes in order to deliver on its energy mandates. And that's it on this segment of the program. Please stay tuned. Hello, glad to have you join us on this segment. My name is Abigail Ojogo. Did you know that the first exploration of oil and gas in Nigerian territory took place in 1908? The Nigerian Mining Regulation via Oil Ordinance of 1907 was set for drilling 15 wells between Lekki Lagoon and the Niger Delta. Did you know that the Royal Dutch Company drilled 13 new oil wells between 1953 and 1955? The first commercial oil find was made at Oloibiri in 1956 in present-day Ogbia local government area of Bayelsa State. Did you also know that the first Nigeria's commercial production in 1958 yielded a paltry 5,100 barrels of crude oil per day and this figure doubled the next year as more fields were discovered? Now you know. Please don't go away. Global Crude Oil Outlook is next. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil prices rose after the United States and China signed an eagerly awaited phase one trade deal, giving some relief to markets. But gains were capped as the International Energy Agency said it expected oil production to outstrip demand. Brent crude futures were 36 cents or 0.6% higher at $64.36 per barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures were up 22 cents or 0.4% at $58.03 per barrel. Under the so-called phase one deal to call a truce in a trade war between the world's two biggest economies, China committed to buying over $50 billion more of US oil, liquefied natural gas and other energy products over two years. Trade sources and analysts said China could struggle to meet the target and gains in oil are likely to be limited ahead of more detail on how the commitments will be achieved. Oil prices are returning to range trading, analysts said, as the threats of conflict between Iran and the U.S. receded further after they traded missile and drone attacks earlier this month. In a reassuring note to the market, the International Energy Agency IEA said surging oil production from non-OPEC countries along with abundant global stocks will help the market weather political shocks such as the U.S.-Iran standoff. The IEA also said it expected production to outstrip demand for crude from the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, even if members comply fully with the pact with Russia and other non-OPEC allies to curb outputs. Oil inventories fell by 2.5 million barrels compared with analyst expectations of a drop of 500,000 barrels, according to data from the Energy Information Administration, EIA. Thanks for watching. I am Obigo Okolo. Now that we are very happy that um, we have somebody who is the GMD that has been part of EITI uh, at the local and the international level and knows that um, our work is not um, at, uh, against the work of NMPC, that our work is actually complementary. Behind scream and tears of pain in some communities, there is a terrible act of pipeline vandalism which causes fire outbreak and kills innocent lives. Pipeline vandalism also pollutes our waters and the fish we eat. Please join us to save lives and stop this crime.
warn or report those who vandalize our pipelines. The law will deal with them. NNPC, we touch your lives in many positive ways. That's been the package on Oil and Gas Forum for this edition. Thanks for the stakeholdership. Have yourself a jolly good week ahead. Bye now. <laughs>